Beautifying the home by rebuilding old discarded articles into new and attractive furnishings has become a popular pastime. Leading exponent of this art is Harry Lockman, famous painter, illustrator, and motion picture director, whose unique patio shop of Beverly Hills turns trash into treasures. For instance, this old Norcount banjo will no longer annoy the neighbors. After cleaning and copper plating the outside, plus some additional workmanship, this old sleep disturber begins to take on an appearance of beauty and utility. So that we may plant little growing things in it, the inside is tarred with a paintbrush. Thus, with the aid of some old sheet music and stuff, we have a novel lamp. If the carnival man throws out a broken down merry-go-round horse, grab it. Sure, it makes a grand floor lamp. And what's cooking now? Well, you've probably guessed it already. But if you haven't, of course, another lamp. Yep, novelty lamps are all the rage. And you can make them out of most anything. To wit, well, bless old Aunt Matilda's soles and heels and laces. Oh, now, please, not a lamp out of a nozzle and a helmet. Oh, no. Why, this is a four-alarm ding-dong. Yes, indeed. Even Grandma's old coffee grinder becomes a swell little lamp, if you know your stuff. And speaking of coffee, if your java has been tasting different lately, start drinking tea and make bookends out of your old coffee pot. Alonzo T. Mousebrain has been reading about the patio shop, and he's got the bug, but bad. That was his wife's best coffee pot, and will she be sore when she sees what he saws? <laughs> Nice going, chum. Back in Lockman's workshop, we learn how a discarded shipping crate may be put to novel use, especially if you have some old automobile parts lying around the garage. When finished, it all makes up into an auto bar, with a bumper as the foot rail, seat covering material, and other old car parts add up to a swanky swiggery, yes? Under a rear-view mirror, a windshield serves as a shelf for glasses, etc. An inverted headlight holds the ice cubes, and you honk the horn for service. Nice. Having no car to wreck, dear old Alonzo has another idea for a bar. And that's the end of a new ironing board. Say, perchance this dope isn't a dope after all. It begins to look like he's got something here. Yep, it sure does. Good boy, Alonzo. Well, folks, the drinks are on the house. Correction, the drinks are on the floor. But going from the ridiculous, let's get a few more ideas. An old barrel comes in handy here. Also, some bamboo rakes, such as the one on the right. After sawing off three bamboo rake ends, they are wired together into a cone-shaped affair. And what is the guy making? Well, I promised the man I'd ask you to guess. Are you guessing, or are you away ahead of me? And now, chillin, for the benefit of the few who can't figure out what he's making, I'm sure the addition of an old funnel, as he had disclosed, explains everything. Or does it? The hooks of a hat rack are fastened up at the end of the pole, so they support the metal cover of an old container. Now, of course, everybody knows what he's building, except that old lady in the last row there. She always falls asleep on my pictures. And so, kiddies, with the addition of a paint job, it's a Boyd house. Palm Springs on a stick. Uh-oh, that did it. Mouse Brain is going to make himself a birdhouse, too. Oh, come, come, Alonzo. You're not trying. Timber!
And so, after hours and hours and hours and hours, persistency wins. Well, anyway, persistency persists. That it does. Steady now. Careful. Well, a Hedda Hopper creation. Now, now, Alonzo, temper, temper. Nothing like subtle humor, eh, folks? Making fancy drinking glasses out of old bottles from the junk pile is becoming quite the thing these days. Watch closely, and you too can become proficient in this art. It says here, in very small type, which you can hardly read without the aid of your bifocals. There. Now you have the makings of two drinking glasses, one of which becomes a wine glass. The original cap of the bottle plays an important part in making the wine glass, the rim of which has been ground smooth. The cap is used to fasten the glass to its wooden disc base, and it's all quite simple when you know how. See? All kinds of glasses, mugs, and goblets can be made from old bottles, all of which you might remember the next time you're about to toss those empties into the ash can. After reading about all this, Mouse Brain decides he'll break up an old bottle and make some glasses too. Inflammable, goodness, he'd better not break up that one. Yep, that much even he knows. And so, having removed the contents of another bottle and transferred same to his stomach, Alonzo fumbles along in a manner that exceeds even his own worst efforts. Ouch, that bottle of inflammables. Well, who am I to tip him off? Some people have to learn the hard way. Maybe blowing up the house will teach him to be careful in the future. Shall we listen? Hmm, nothing happened. But it will. It must. Just be patient, folks. It just won't explode, that's all. And now let's see what can be done with a barrel, some driftwood, a brush, a tin can, a few seashells, and other loose ends that might be lying around the place. They tell me that this resembles a perissodactyl ungulate mammal, which of course clarifies everything. A couple of seashells serve as eyes, and pieces of fishnet as eyelashes. A scrubbing brush becomes a mane, and she's practically ready for the seventh race. Busher here must have a bridle, hence you give her enough rope so you can halt her. That's a piece of harness, son. A harness, I say, that is. Anyway, an old tin can makes a snappy chapeau. Ladies, please note. It's about the only thing they haven't made hats out of, say I, ending with a preposition. And so we have a horse bar with cigarettes in the tin hat, ice bucket in place, and everything ready for service. Here, Mr. and Mrs. Horse Bar with Junior Horse Bar carrying a load of toothpicks. Ah, oh, Alonzo again. Nothing stops this being brain. I don't know just what he's making, nor does he. However, it's obvious he needs a longer piece of wood than is immediately available. So... Goodness, is he kidding? Definitely not. When that dope needs a piece of lumber, he goes after it, come what may. And it probably will. Look out! What goes here? Eh. You thought all that junk would crash down on his cranium, didn't you? It does. Goodbye now.